Okay, uh, I'm very excited. Today we're going to start playing Dead Rising. I was looking at my games and I, I knew I wanted to start with something zombie oriented because this is something I'm a big fan of and I plan to uh, do lots of zombie related coverage. So I thought why not start with uh, one of my earliest uh, games I ever played that was a uh, zombie oriented. That's not true. I mean, I there was a game back in like the 90s that was called uh, Flesh Feast, which was really the first game I ever got into. But this game was the entire reason that I bought my 360 back in the day. And I remember specifically going to a friend's house just to play this game. And it is hopefully gonna hold up and you know how these things are with nostalgia do i remember it as great or was it really truly great and so we're gonna find out i did not play this at all yet on this particular profile i remember this being very difficult in the beginning of the game because you're such a low level we're just gonna go into it and then if we if i find out that i'm struggling i'm gonna go back off camera and just grind a little bit and then come back to the point in the story where we left off but for now let's uh let's just get into it i'm 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 excited i uh this is the the i believe it's all just an hd remake of or re-release of the game for 360 this is the xbox one edition and i picked it up for about 12 dollars at a GameStop, so it is out there and it's pretty cheap. If you see this and like it, go get it. It's one of the best zombie games available on this uh, particular console. So, I'm gonna hit start game, 72 hour mode, and I'm gonna shut my mouth and watch the cinematics. Loading. Hey look, mountains. And a chopper. Hope the volume's okay. It's a touch loud. I may have to adjust that after recording. Frank West. The helicopter guy. Say, hey buddy. You mentioned something about research for a story. That's right. Got a tip that something big's happening. In a nowhere little town like that? They sure didn't mention anything about it on TV. Yeah, well, I'm freelance, pal. I don't make my living waiting for the TV to tell me what to cover. <laughs> Here she is. <laughs> Willamette, Colorado. Population 53,594. Distinguishing characteristics, jack shit. <laughs> About the only thing to do in this town is kill time at the shopping mall. What was that? The army? Yeah. Looks like taking a helicopter was the way to go. I bet they got all the roads blocked off by now. All right, listen. I want to get shots of the whole town before the National Guard finishes roping it off. Take me over the main street. And now we'll take control. And we'll be taking some pictures, if I recall. How do we zoom? Nope. <laughs> That's not it. There we go. The uh, look sensitivity is a little ridiculous. Oh no, what's happening? Oh my god. Look at this guy. Nice shirt, bro. What is that? Some kind of riot? Is this what you came 
to take pictures of? Mostly. Yeah. Sure is. Oh no. Why are you don't be a turtle, man. Get up and run oh he's no dead. You know, if Katie was on that bus, we could have saved ourselves a lot of trouble in Dead Rising 2. Although I guess she probably hasn't been born yet at the time of the outbreak, the initial outbreak. I wonder what Chuck's doing right now. You know, Frank always reminded me of Charlie Sheen, and then, of course, uh, Chuck in the second one reminds me of Aaron Eckert. E Eckhart, I don't know how you say that. supposed to be taking pictures of all of this. I know it's a little boost to your uh, skills, but they're just so such a small amount. I believe I could even skip this entire photo taking portion of it, but I don't really see the point in skipping it when you may or may not have seen it before. You, uh, obviously this one where there is a scripted event taking place. Oh no. Don't do it. Just shoot yourself. Or, you know, run through this open path right here. Okay, no. I don't like the looks of that guy in the flannel shirt. Somebody get her. Don't turn around and look. What's wrong with you? I want to see the center of town. Take me there. Roger. Fade to black. Because every mall has a helipad. Me. Standard issue. Man, you are nuts. All right, listen. Don't forget to come back for me. Three days. As long as you're not dead, Fred. It's Frank. It's Frank. Frank West. Remember that name, because the whole world's gonna know it in three days when I get the scoop. Right. Well, you say that. So Frank has the ability to survive a 30-foot drop from a ch helicopter. It's good to know. Hello there. Hello. You're the reporter, aren't you? I am. Yeah. Oh. You came alone. You just saw yeah, it. Yeah, I'm freelance. You know, 
go on the battlefield alone, no crew. So, uh, what's going on around here anyway? You came by helicopter, didn't you? Did you not just see it? What did you see from the sky? Well... If it were just a riot, I doubt the military would quarantine the entire area. The moratorium on information getting out is a little... extreme, in my opinion. There's, uh, something else I can't put my finger on. Doesn't sound like civil disobedience. Hmm. It's too quiet. <laughs> Almost as if... everyone's already dead. Yeah. So why don't you just tell me already? What's going on? I think you'd better see for yourself. This, my friend, is hell. <laughs> this is a little, a little dramatic. That's okay. Oh, Carlito. Always with the hyperdrama. I'm gonna take your picture, bro. Oh. Frank must be on the heliport at 12 p.m. on the 22nd, or he will be left behind in the mall. Pay careful attention to the time as you play. Check my watch. Shazam. Look at that low resolution hairy forearm I've got. It's good to see they didn't update. Also, I'm wearing long sleeves, so that's a bit interesting. Anyway, bam. I ju <laughs> juked it to the right. That's okay. Negative space. It's a use of negative space. It's, it's an artistic technique. What do we got up here? Just an open heliport. Nothing super interesting. I don't think items will spawn here because he's here and they don't want me to beat him to death or anything. Bam! Security room. <sighs> Let's go in here and get some more exposition. Actually, no. Oh, okay. I can save at sofas and bathrooms. Oh, it used to prompt you for which save, I thought. Maybe not. Do these lockers, used to be these lockers contained. Yeah, what do we got? Yeah. Got a white, oh, what, what a tie that is. Yeah. This appears to be my original clothing. What's in there? Hmm. there you, oh, sunglasses. Hmm. Used to be, I don't want those, get them out of here. No, return. Hmm. There you go. Yeah. Oh, they were slightly different. I seem to remember there was a... Uh... Yeah. Oh, God. Did you make that out of a carpet? Yeah. There we go. The red suit. That's what I remember. What's this yeah. one? Oh, God. What year is it, Frank? Yeah. That looks like... Uh... It reminds me of, uh, what was the dad's name on that 70s show? The, uh, Donna's dad? Bob, I think. It reminds me of something he would wear, the snake skin. Alright, what do we got? Still no items. Let's check out these cameras. Close your door. God, these animations look so bad. I mean, you, you gotta understand, this game came out, I believe, in 2006. Uh, so it's been quite a while since this game was released, and it spawned, obviously, a number of sequels, most of which are not very good. The second one uh, follows a lot uh, very closely. All of these have clothes. We'll check that out later. All of them follow some basic guidelines of what this game you know, laid out as a foundation. But really only this one and the second one can be lumped together. I think um, number three and four fit better when compared to one another, but not to this game. 
because this game it's just, it's just they're different it's just different you know the first two games are you're trapped in a mall environment and the second two games are much more open world exploring even the fourth game which is in a mall is much more open and less restrictive I didn't enjoy them nearly as much Here's a guy. Hey, bring that over here. No one is bringing you anything. I notice. Despite you telling them to. Oh. Screw around. Have you seen my baby? Your baby. I can't live without my precious little sweetie doggy. Oh, where is my Madonna? Where is she? Oh. Madonna. Just stare at her, Frank. That's totally normal. Hey, this is no time to ogle pretty girls, son. Right? You looking to get yourself beaten alive by zombies? <laughs> what? Did you just say zombies? Take a look out there. Look at his eyes. If those ain't zombies, what would you call them? I'm, zombies seems right. There's been more and more of them since last night. Now, they're all that's out there. Look at his eyes. Hey, look on the bright side. Zombies are stupid and slow. We should be safe in here. All right, then. Feel like making yourself useful? Sure. Take a look around the mall. Bring anything we can use for the barricade back here. Like corpses. On delay. Come on. Pronto. I don't want to leave yet. I want to look at you. So... The eyes, that's something a lot of the cutscenes in this game I really stands out that I remember. Um, their eyes bug out. Fantastic. Did I get... So if you've never played this, there are achievements for taking pictures of a certain number of survivors. So I'm going to be snapping some pictures here and there of, of things. There's an old lady. And apparently a sticker. What's going on? Oh, I can't talk to you. It's a nice fountain. The water looks pretty good compared to what it used to look like. He couldn't have gotten out of the mall. He's probably hiding somewhere, shitting in his pants like a chump. Well, even a pussy like him can make a decent shield against the zombies. Yes. <laughs> Verlene. Perfect. I'll be with you the whole time, so don't worry. It'll be okay. Help's on the way. Is it though? Zombies are too slow. It'll be okay. Help's on the way. You already said that. Good. Perfect. Oh, see, I got an achievement. Hooray. Let's grab some crap. Huh? You! Stop right there! Do you have any idea what you've done? Why did you summon me to this place? What are you planning? Would you calm down? I don't even know what you're talking about. Get him, old timer. What the? Madonna. Good thing this old woman was able to overpower those men. Oh. 
he dead. Did you at least save Madonna? Well, I hope the dog's okay. I mean, I think that's really the takeaway. That's not what I wanted. Different items perform different actions. Some weapons are capable of special attacks performed by holding X for a moment. And uh, X is attack, right trigger, and X is to throw. Oh, there's more. Multiple items can be held in stock simultaneously. The maximum stock number can be raised by leveling up. Uh, the bumpers change item, discard, unequip. And we'll go back. So we want to throw this. Oh, I already messed it up. Okay. Let's take the two by fours. Because they're my pretty stock standard weapons. We're not going to try to save anyone because I don't believe you can save anyone. We're just going to weave through here. I believe there's a shot... Ah! I believe there's a shotgun lying about somewhere. Get off me, bro. Come on. What? What? I don't know why he stopped and panted. Okay. Well. <laughs> so I haven't played this in a very long time. And last time I did, I was level 50 and had a laser cannon. So, you know, not a... <laughs> Not the same as being level 1 with 4 hit points, you know. So, it's going to take me a little bit to get back in the swing of it. others what others I don't know I hope they got away <laughs> no. as long as those things are in the mall we better not use this door Uh, what are you doing? The air ducts. They'll get us back into the mall. And apparently those things aren't smart enough to use the ducts. So they won't be a factor. Wait a minute. You want to get back in there? What for? Hey. Hey. Nice camera. Are you a photographer? As a matter of fact, I am. Frank West, photojournalist. Could you show me some pictures, Frank? <sighs> you really seem to know what you're doing. Who are you guys, anyway? And what are you... I took that one near the entrance. That guy do something? Nope. Nope. Thanks for showing me, though. Uh, hey, we're not done talking yet. I don't remember her name. Just who are you guys? I'm Jesse. Jesse. The man you saw earlier is Brad. That's all I'm authorized to tell you. <laughs> hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. That is Otis, of course. 
That's uh, should be some food around. Let's uh, tip top up, get our health back. Oh, didn't mean to do that. It's gonna take me a while to get used to B being the interact button. Uh, I've been playing a lot of Left 4 Dead, which is the X button. It'll take me some time to acclimate. I think that's all the people that are here. We've mostly already explored this area. Let's talk to Jesse. I can't answer your question. Everyone responsible and arrested them. I've still got my hands. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to read all the text. Because it seems to be moving. Yeah. Really quick compared to my ability to read it out loud. So. I am sorry about that. I don't think there's anything in the settings that would allow me to change that. Subtitles on, of course. Doesn't seem to be any way to change the speed at which they pass. I will try my best to read it out loud, I suppose. And uh, hopefully between that and your own ability to read, which I hope you're able to read. If not, check out an adult literacy course. Because why not? You ain't planning on going down into the mall, are you? I wouldn't do that if I were you, but you... go. Oh, this is awful. Well, if you're going to go, at least take this transceiver with you, and you better take this map, too. Thank you, Otis. You're very helpful, but also deeply annoying as the game will progress. They're all over the mall. Be careful out there. Okie doke. Let's, uh... Head out to the mall. Climbing through the air ducts. Hey, anybody around? What? What's up, Jeff? Have I seen your wife, Natalie? She should still be around here. Well, I'll find her for you. Here, come on. That'd be great, fella. The name's Jeff Meyer, by the way. Oh, so sorry, man. I'm Frank. I'm a journalist. Come on, Jeff. I happen to know... Oh. Escorting survivors. Survivors each behave differently depending on the circumstances and their own varying personalities. It is a good idea to escort as many as possible to the safety of the security room. Press Y to call a survivor and press right trigger and Y to set a goal marker. Over there! Over there. Come on. Follow me. Follow me. Hi, Natalie. I like the name Natalie. Come on, bro. It's your wife. Whenever you see the uh, PP symbol appear, um, that means it's a photo opportunity. You get bonus. Um, you get bonus points for taking a photo of that moment. All right, you two, you mind cutting your joyous reunion short? It's not safe here, but I know a place. I'll take you to the security room. Come on. Let's go. So left trigger is the camera. I'm really going to mess up that right trigger is the aim. It's also not very responsive, which I don't, I don't like. Come on, you guys. Take the nice elderly couple up to the security room. I wonder if they've improved the pathfinding at all, or if this was just a uh, cash grab HD re-release. Um, because the pathing was terrible. They if you have a large group, I'm never going to the mall again as long as I live. I've had enough of this. Blah, blah, etc. Uh, because they would very frequently get hung up on that little ledge outside. So we leveled up, which means we got a new skill. Uh, leveling up, PP, also known as prestige points, are awarded for actions such as escorting survivors to safety or defeating zombies. When the PP gauge becomes full, Frank levels up. And there's attack, speed, life, stock, throw, and skills. And so we learned a new skill. It should appear in the up, 
well, there's usually a banner explaining what the skill is, but if we go to status, we go to skills, you'll see we now have the zombie ride skill, which is a wonderful ability that I wish they had kept in the later games. I kind of think they dropped it from the third game. Anyway, it's been about 30 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and save. Yes. And that's going to be where we're going to end this particular episode for now. I will be back very soon with another episode of Dead Rising. Say goodbye, Frank. Oh, goodbye, Frank. All right. Um, so, Jesus, cry some more, why don't you? All right. So we'll be back uh, very soon with the next episode. Thanks for listening.